Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be analyzing a person who hit Elite 1 and we're going to distinguish the difference between uh, people who hit a minimum or a maximum of Gold 2 and lower and then Gold gold 1 and higher. As you guys know, there's a very huge un like imbalance or the like, gameplay is not balanced at all. There's so many different uh, specifics of the game uh, that just does, <laughs> the game needs a big patch. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, but as I analyze this gameplay, just take into account um, certain things that I'm talking about, right? Because I don't know what the person's intent is because as you guys know, this gameplay is really bad. So you can dribble in certain areas and it doesn't do it. Passing doesn't work out, so on and so forth. So just take that into account when I'm reviewing these games. But this is an Elite One tier gameplay, right? As you guys can see the squad, this is obviously a very good team. Very expensive, that's kind of what you need or the general area of what you need uh, to be able to do well in FIFA. So uh, the reason why this formation is good is because again, you can switch to any variation of formation and it would work out really nicely, right? So a good back four, if you want to use a 4-2-3-1, you can use uh, Paul Pogba and Conte as your CDMs, Michael Ballack as the cam, or Pogba as the cam, CDM, uh, Michael Ballack and Conte, Ronaldo striker, Mbappe right side, Hazard left side because of the finesse shot trait, or Hazard left side because his shots are good, right? Uh, uh, finesse shots, uh, someone explained to me the other day that the finesse shot trait might not be super relevant nowadays uh, because it affects other things, right? But I still like to have the finesse shot trait regardless, right? So, Ronaldo striker, obviously, so on and so forth. So, a very good team in general. This isn't the team that my that the person who sent this gameplay to me is. You guys need to send me the team that you're using because that's very important, right? So, this is, a, this is the general team that people need uh, to be able to hit this tier, right? So, we're going to go ahead and review this gameplay. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any faults. But what there is going to be is me analyzing what players are doing in general positions, right? So, I'm almost certain that that other guy is going to switch... Um, his formation for sure, but there's no way of me saying that. So in game, you switch to defensive. So the big problem here is you don't show me what you're using defensive. So you guys can see here, right? He's using defensive, but I can't see what you're using. That's very important for me to know what you're using. Um, so we're just gonna go from there. So right off the bat, I gotta explain this. Your gameplay looks quite decent actually. Yeah, his gameplay's good. His gameplay's good. It's not slow and sluggish. Look at the general movement of Hazard as he's defending. He can defend perfectly. Look at Hazard. Or, or whoever this is. Look at that. Okay, your gameplay's good, so I can analyze your gameplay. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on here. Oh, maybe not. Hazard's first touch there, eh? Maybe, I don't know. A little bit, a little bit off. Ooh, Hazard, finesse shot trait, yeah. So, right off the bat, this is the difference between the gameplay that I reviewed the last time and the gameplay that you review this time. At this tier, it is all about abusing game mechanics, right? So, in this situation right here, what he ends up doing with his player is he gets into a position to finesse shot. So again, simple touch downwards, and then he goes for the finesse. Uh, doesn't put a good enough amount of power. He had to put maybe like a exactly two bar there and then time finesse it. This goes into the back of the net with Cristiano Ronaldo every single time if he puts less power and he does the time finesse shot. So very important, um, very important parts of gameplay right there, right? Uh, so he's using Mares on the right. So it looks like he's using the 4-2-3-1, uh, which is probably the narrow variation of the formation. Okay, so this guy, this guy is using a tactic where he congests the players a lot. So it's probably on constant pressure. You can see right here, there's three people on him, so it's either pressure on heavy touch or constant pressure, so he loses the ball like that, probably he has to pass the ball back. Um, in this situation right here, what this person wants to do is once Van Dyke takes that touch right there, he has to pass this across goal. So it looks like he's actually on pressure on heavy touch, because constant pressure would probably be blocking every single person on the pitch. This guy right here is now being blocked, so when you're when you have this much pressure against you, you have to switch the play so that you can avoid that as much as possible, right? Um, make sure that you use this play right here to block this. So Fabinho chases after the guy, which is great. If you can send me your tactics, that would be awesome as well, dude. Your tactics and instructions so I can kind of see what's going on. Okay, so you're going to pass it back, go back into the middle here, maybe pass into the middle. 
it's going for a law pass. So law pass in that situation right there is forcing the play. You don't want to force a play in that situation. Um, because the players, unless you have uh, tactics to get in behind the defense, it's not really worth doing a lob pass right off the bat, especially with someone like Riyad Mahrez. Like the only people who will actually be able to catch that ball is probably like Mohamed Salah. The base card stats of the pace is very important, and Mahrez um, isn't going to really do that chase unless you have the instructions set on him, right? Okay, so he's using Roberto Firmino, drag backs. Yeah, his gameplay is good. You, his gameplay is good because you can tell from uh, Roberto Firmino's dribbling right here how sharp it is. You see how... So if you look at this right here, we're going to see right here. So drag back's going good, right? Sharp, sharp, sharp. It's not emphasized. Every time he touches the ball, the player doesn't add this emphasis on the ball, right? It's just sharp, sharp, sharp. It's just doing it, right? This is the gameplay that the community deserves to have all the time. Marcelo there. Wait for that run to be made and making the wide pass. That's the ideal situation to do, right? So maybe doing a drag back there in that situation to get the little space down here would work out too. But that's, that's the right call right there for sure. I'm going to email this guy. and let, let, He has to let me know what his instructions and tactics are so I can see how to analyze it properly. I think he did a good tackle here, but he may have timed the... Yeah, you're a little bit off in terms of the run right there. Okay, so he's using Marcelo here, which is fine because nothing's going on at the bottom here. So he still uses Marcelo. Fabinho intercepts. Okay. Pass the ball to the middle. Pass it back to the bottom. Ooh. In this situation here, I would have probably passed it back to the bottom because Neymar has all that space to work with now once you made that. Right? You got all this space to work with. And even right here, when you touch the ball... He could have done a wide pass down there. That's them trying to get the angle for the finesse shot. Dribbling with Mars is, is responsive. Shouldn't have been doing a ball roll there. Ball roll, ball roll there, like you could have passed it upwards. Like over here, right? You could have explored the space that he had in the middle. So when you had the ball here with Mares, if you did a ball roll, ball roll upwards, LBA pass, your player may have exploited this space right here. Look at all this space that you have to work with here. This is very important to look at when you're playing, right? So if you do a ball roll here, LBA, maybe Mares exploits that little space and runs in behind right here. Yeah. So right here, if you just push the ball that way and then pass it to him, you can do like an, uh, a 1-2 pass and then Mares could be through on goal. Defensive AI is very effective, so he could have caught up anyways. That's unfortunate that lunch mechanic is the worst. Okay, so I'm going to put some gameplay on for you guys. Oh, the volume. I forgot that the volume wasn't on for you guys. Actually, I don't even think the volume is going to work. Uh, let me see here. Go ahead and put this on for you guys. So maybe it's working now. In this attack, and it looks dangerous. Neymar. Yeah, good use of the skill move there. Yeah, over here I would just continue running upwards. Like, just in general. Like, I get why you came back, because that's what people normally do, is they block that general area right here, but I would have kept on running forward and see where Neymar was going to end up. Because Neymar's work rates and his pace uh, really makes him push forward in that situation. And Balak's on the ball. So that's how you defend in this game. Uh, if you're at this tier, you don't actually defend yourself. If you defend yourself, it actually does a worse job. Because you can see that when you're allowing your defensive AI to defend... I can't do this because it just bothers me way too much. But when you're using this card right... When you're using this guy right here, look at how this guy over here stays in the middle the entire time. Right? And then he commits once he switches to him. So that's how you should be defending. Not just getting across. He thought quickly as well. The way your team is set up right now is actually decent. Now, this is an interesting Using the CDM to defend, always important. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. That's forcing it a little bit. Don't force the play too much. You have to be more conservative, right? So 
If you have your fullback here in this situation, what you want to do to exploit the side more is do an LBA pass with Marcelo. And then Marcelo would push up and then do a nice little Y pass into this space right here. You can tell this guy's tactics is more narrow because look at the positioning of his players. So if you exploit the sides more by going back here, passing it to Marcelo and then doing a Y pass to the side, uh, that would be more beneficial because forcing it like that against all the defenders there uh, isn't going to really work out, right? It's weird. It looks like this guy guy's gameplay is weird. And the decision is a corner here. They've gone short with the corner. Cleared Virgil van Dijk probably does an auto clearance there. So this situation right here, you don't need to push up. I would just go over here in this general area. Volleys are overpowered. Yeah. So. Flick ups in this game are very effective. So if you do a like, you know how, you know that skill move nowadays where you can just like flick the stick. If you flick the stick and hit the volley with good players, they're gonna hit the target most of the times. It's very very overpowered. So that's what he does there. Velocity flick hits it first time. Again, a lot of a lot of the a lot of the gameplay aspects in this in this tier is is going for the uh, mechanics, right? I'd be very surprised if I actually see a goal that isn't a finesse shot. Or some sort of like convenience. Why pass right away? Shoot across goal won't work. Yeah. Should it work? It sh it sh this goal should absolutely work with someone like Neymar. Let me see your angle. Yeah, I would. I If I were EA, I'd let you score this. Because he manually moves the goalkeeper. Which is by itself. I hate that so much. The thing is, though, is that this is what people will say, right? People will say, oh, but if he manually go moves a the goalkeeper, then you should just shoot it to the left side. Which would definitely work in that situation there, but that's not the type of stuff you see as you're playing, you know what I mean? It's hard enough to get past the defensive AI, you know? Kyle Walker with some good defending there. Good wide pass there. Good pass there. Pass it back now. Oh, that's actually way better. You exploit, you use the space here. Your your gameplay is one hundred percent good. Look at the way his dribbling his dribbling is here. Oh my god! First time wide pass. Yeah, get through, finesse shot it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Has opened the scoring one nil here. It's with Bap. Block this guy right here. Yeah. Does you see how he's not defending with the actual person? This needs to be patched, by the way. Look at that. You see? Stays in the middle of him the entire time there. Aguero. Y pass. Yeah. Back into the middle. Beautiful. Nobody working with you. Yeah, back to the back to the middle. Pass the ball down. Why pass again? Yeah. Sometimes those work, sometimes those don't. It's, it's, it depends. Oh, way too much commitment there. That could be because of sliding. If your defenders slide, it's so hard to defend. Manually. That's why manually... Here's the thing, right, guys? That's why manually defending is not a thing. Because the defenders slide way too much. Good tackle there. Watch the Y pass. You're unlucky. Yeah, see? Going for those flicks, man. Going for those flicks. Y pass? Yep. Pass it back. Oh, that's actually way better. Good job. Pass it to the fullback. So what you have to utilize more is you have to pass it to the fullback in that situation. Because look, the fullback is on you. So if you do an LBA pass to your Marcelo that's down here, you can do a nice little Y pass to all this open space. Good defending there by Marcelo. Wide pass downwards, nice. Ball roll, yeah, to see the angles of the players. Packs it back, yeah. Back to the middle, back to the top. You have all that space to work with. I'd, I'd keep going here, man. To do that. For me, what I would have done, right? He just does regular dribbling. That's what you should be doing here, right? Just regular dribbling upwards, right? You have all the space to work with. I'd probably do like a heel to heel, 
understand like where he wants to go and the angles with his players and then go from there. Always, if you force the pass into the middle like this, it's not ideal. Okay, so use your CDM. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You committed perfectly there. Yeah, first time Y pass to the bottom right here. Why pass? Well, not surprisingly, those fans convinced. Uh, this angle, he won't score. Yeah. How did he save that? Pass it back to the side. There you go. Now you have all that space to work with. He still has his back four there and his CDMs there. Conte's medium high. There you go. You exploit the space with the fullback. Pass it back to the CDM. Pass it back to the middle. Block to the bottom. LBA there. You got to do an LBA there. That's what he does. Touch out upwards. Yeah. So. Over here, over here, if you can get that that angle to hit that pass there, it'd be, I don't know why I just skipped it. There you go. Honestly, even if you did a first time pass downwards and then a Y pass into this space right here, that would have worked out too. You could see that it would have worked right there. Crossbody shots aren't good, so I hope they patch that as well because crossbody shots are very, very inconsistent. Good drag back, back to the middle, back to the bottom. Beautiful. Another, do another drag back. Yeah. It's, it's See how he's he's trying to get that angle to finesse it. He's going to pass it upwards. Use your CDM here. Don't overcommit your fullback. Richard Ramos is a beast. Wide pass. That's a good half, man. This guy plays well. This guy definitely plays well. So he plays... He plays... You can see that right now. So he plays the... Uh, four two three one narrow, which makes total sense. You can totally see his team playing like that. That's a good choice. You take out Firmino, put in Hungman's son. You want to put Lucas in? Okay, for the pace, I get it. So you switch. So you have you have Casemiro and Fabinho as your CDMs. Ramos, Van Dyke, Marcelo Walker. That's the best back four you can possibly get. Ramos, Van Dyke, Marcelo Walker. That's disgusting. Van Dyke is like super good himself. They kick off at the start of the second half. Okay, that's good. You're using the space of the CDMs. Back to Fabinho. Perfect. Go backwards, yeah. Back to the middle. <clears throat> Leroy Sane. Perfect. Yeah, try to use this. Just dribble a little bit, understand where your opponent's going to go with it. Beautiful. We can cut it back now. I think over there, man, you could have finessed a finesse shot from there. Cut it back now. Yeah, even, even right here, once you get to that angle, which was brilliant by you, uh, even if you do like a heel to heel right there to just to get that angle to finesse across goal, that would have worked out really nicely. Or just do a first time finesse. Or, or what you could have done is when you made that pass, you could have done a first time pass back to Aguero and then back for um, a shot across goal. You can see what he was trying to do, opening up his body to place it, but he's placed it wide. Sadly, all these things I'm saying really depends on how the gameplay is. If your gameplay is good and you're showing me this gameplay, that's what you should be doing. But trust me, man. I know, I know how much you can't do when the gameplay sucks, so. For him. A lot of things I mean to do, and I, I try to be as quick as I possibly can, and I, I don't even want to talk about it. And on the ball. Pogba. Wide pass. Okay. This guy's overly committing in the middle. Your Casemiro doesn't seem to be anywhere. Yeah, Your Fabinho's the one that's doing all the work. He's going for the finesse shot. Yeah, you get lucky with the defensive AI block. Did you move your goalkeeper? Moved his goalkeeper a little bit. Coming up now for that. Decided to take a short corner this time. I don't know. I don't know if he actually moved his goalkeeper. That was like a weird angle there. Good dribbling there by Lucas. Yeah, his gameplay is good. Walker. That dribbling is impossible to do when it's sluggish. How do you think uh, Cristiano Ronaldo did in the first Bypass. Half, nice. He yeah, too much power. Hasn't got himself a goal. Did 
Yeah, I would do a Y pass to Fabinho right here, because then that way it would be a more consistent LBY. Because when you do an LBY with your weak foot in that angle, not going to be very good. Got himself a goal, did hit the woodwork, and in a position where he perhaps should have done better. Possession changes feet. Beautiful. Pass it back. Yeah. Wait for the run. Pass it back. Yeah. Bottom. First time pass. Yeah. First time pass, try, he, got, he tried to go for that angle right away, but this guy reads the angles right through your legs. You should have got that. Not your fault. Nice little pass there. Fake shot with Sané. You get the angle. Yeah, his gameplay is definitely good. His players dribble so fast. Oh, those are that's FIFA 19 for you. Deflections galore right there. And it's been an hour of very good. Oh, Fabinho pushed to the side. That's interesting. Oh, fullback's out of position. That's a FIFA 19 mechanic. So that's perfect what you did right there. So in this in this situation, you have to overly commit on the tackle. Because even if he goes downwards or backwards, at least you committed to that side. So he doesn't have anything to work with if he goes backwards. First time pass back. Lucas. Fullback. You got to utilize your fullbacks more so you can so you can make more runs on the sides. Because look at Lucas now. That's the runs you got to look for, man. Turnover. A possession here. Marcelo. Now Balak. As a mirror, yeah. Quick. Go back. Go back. EDM. Back to the middle. Back to the bottom. Pass the first time. That's really unlucky. Definitely be a better pass there. First time pass. First time pass. Passing's got to be quicker to the strikers and stuff there. Look, first time pass. First time pass right away. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Controlling the CDM, that's good. Great Over the Camino with Fabinho's okay there. His, yeah, yeah, I know I, I keep saying it, but you can tell his gameplay is good because there's no there's no uh, emphasis in movement when he's defending. And this is Casemiro. Casemiro definitely feels sluggish. Look at the look at the general movement that Casemiro is, right? You see that those quick you see those quick little little movements that he does? Holds it, little little push, goes back up. That was good aggressive defending with Van Dyke there. Perfect. A pass. You gotta go back here, yeah. Well they've lost an opportunity here, trying to break. Use your CDM, don't use anybody else. Don't use your fullback there, take him off, yeah. He pushes out of position when you were using him. Ooh, see if his if his AI did an auto shot here, he could have possibly scored this. Yeah, maybe. Because sometimes the players do like an auto auto header, and then they score off that into the middle striker downwards wide pass. Upwards, upwards. Yep. Yeah, perfect. No. That is not your fault. You know, I you know what I like what you did here. This is actually really intelligent, chat. This is what he does. He does the La Croqueta. If you guys don't know what the La Croqueta is, he does the you hold L one L B and you do the um. I think it's a ball roll, right? I think it's a ball roll. Uh, and what that does, it actually puts you into a very good position there. One hundred percent. This is not your fault. You and to top it off. You did the timed finesse shot, and he still missed. This is why I, ha I hate when people tell me when I miss these opportunities, you should have timed finesse from 1v1s. Why does this player miss this entire net here? No. And he timed finesse. There's a huge element of skill there. Nah, he has to score that. Has to score that every single time there. That was brilliant by you, man. That was, that was fair play. You did really well there. That's good. High, high work rates in the cam position. I would think more defensively now. Yep, got to be more defensive at the end now. No 
those kind of misses out of their mind and come back again and do that has to be a goal man 2 nil right there 2 nil is a big deal in a competitive game like this competitive game like this one not fifa cuz you know back to the middle side side oh you got to use that side man you got to use this guy right here look use this guy use this guy you know what I'm saying? Because then if you make this pass to Fabinho, you can make this an easy pass to Sun. Make this pass backwards and go back again. Now Casimiro. Good. I would never force the pass to the striker there. Usually never worth it. Where's Fabinho again? Don't don't force in the middle, man. You're winning right now. You got to be more chill. It's a very good interception. Yeah, you got to be more relaxed there. For the crowd sensing great, the dude. Great job, like center back defending. Like that's that, your aggressive defending with your center backs is really good. Wide pass, yep. Middle pass. Make a wide pass down here. There you go. Good cut back. That was beautiful. Uh, don't force it too much here. You don't have you don't really have much space. And you're destroying him. And you're not gonna get rewarded for this. Crazy man. I don't like watching this man. This is defensive AI blocked that too. Let me check. Yeah. Yeah, Kondogbia blocks that. Dude, that's crazy how like two of his players were on you the entire time there. I don't even know what else he could have done in, in those skills. Corner swung in. Yeah, he's 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 manually using Van Dyke on the corner because he's no, he knows that he's the best physical presence that he has. I wouldn't go across it there though. These crosses, well, actually no, the crosses here work. You don't. Downwards again. You gotta think about the time now, bro. Time is very important in this, in this instance. You drag back. Don't force it there. Pass it back up. Yeah, relax, relax. Oh, flick up, and that's a goal. Yeah. <laughs> I told you guys. Look at this, man. That's insane. Casimiro. Now Casimiro, just moving the opposition around. He's got his shot off now, and they managed to score here. Here's my problem. Like, it's cool. It's a nice goal. I think for a casual player, they will look at this and they'll be like, wow, this was awesome. But this is actually so ridiculously overpowered. Because think about the concepts, right? He scores this one, but then he didn't score the early one, earlier one with Lucas Moura's timed finesse shot. You know what I mean? Almost built that up, almost like a chess match. Just waiting for their time to pounce to open up the opposition. They did it beautifully. At 2 0. Block with your center back, yeah. Back to the fullback. Fullback. Not fullback, it's Sane. Oh, and he's, all, he's attacking a lot right now. Touch downwards, touch downwards. No. How does... Okay. <laughs> this game is so weird. Yeah, this guy already knows he lost. That's a GG though, man. That's a GG. Um... You just got to utilize your fullbacks more to use the sides, in my opinion. Your CDM, your, your defending in general is very good. You do what you have to do to defend in this game. Um, you force the play a little, bit, a little bit too much on the attack at points. But for the most part, you're a very good player. Uh, you know what you're doing, and you can definitely get top 100. I think that's, I think that's really what it, what it comes down to. You, you got to get fortunate, man. If you hit elite one in this game, 
it's it's not far off of hitting top 100 so good luck to you in that my man uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video today i'm sorry that i keep bringing up the game mechanics thing it's just it's a very 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 huge part on whether or not you can play good or bad or whether or not i can judge someone's gameplay based off of specific things but i hope you guys enjoyed the video today this is for elite tier gameplay if you guys want to see lower tier gameplay or higher tier gameplay like top 100 players let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace